everybody and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always got something to say about the Toronto Blue Jays. I am your host, Nicholas Blaylock. And I'm your host, Adam Pedal. And today, guys, in this one, we're going to talk about Juan Soto to the Blue Jays? Is it going to happen? Let's break it down. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and use code TODAYJAYS for Monkey Knife Fight. Sign up and get discounts and deals. All right, so it seems crazy. Juan Soto to the Jays. I mean, there's 29 other teams in baseball you can go to, and the Blue Jays are one of them, and we're one of the favorites for that sure. That is the big kind of breaking news here, guys. The Toronto Blue Jays, well, Vegas seems to think that we have a very good shot at this. As far as the favorites go, they're looking at Yankees, Dodgers, and Blue Jays. We're wow. right up there. And wow. oh, the Giants as well. Yeah. They also have the Mets there. But we have, we're going to talk about the Mets, I think, yeah. in this video. Yeah. And just like kind of yeah. break down who we think is the favorites. What it would take to get him and stuff. But we are up there, guys. Yeah. This is not yeah. just fucking clickbait. Like, this is something that could very legitimately transpire within two weeks. Yeah. We could have one solo that, that on this team insane. in two weeks. He's gonna, we're obviously getting his jersey. Oh, yeah. We're I obviously get getting his jersey. I get his jersey. jersey. Yeah, 1,000%. Dude, Absolutely. But this is something that could literally happen very, very very Yo, soon. And here's something that's also fun. So Santiago Espinal at the All-Star game pulled Juan Soto aside and was like, hey, dude, I can't say, don't quote me on this, but he was basically like, hey, dude, like, you know, we'd love you over on our team. So And, uh, yeah, I think mm -hmm. we can all agree that we absolutely would. Mm -hmm. We're not going to spend too long on this, but just to, like, remind everybody of how fucking elite this guy is, 293 batting average over his career, 427 on base over his wow. career, 541 slugging. That's good for a 968 OPS. Wow. This is over the first four seasons. He's 23 years old. We're talking about, like... Ted Williams, freaking Mike Trout, just like yeah. literal Hall of Famers caliber yeah. players like, at the beginning of your career. Like we gawk over Vladdy being so elite. Like this yeah. guy's been elite yeah. for time, totally. so he's pretty proven. And granted, this year's a down year for Juan Soto, but I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, yeah now it's the boss. No, yes, a, he's gonna come. A he's down year of 901 OPS yeah. currently, and yeah. getting a lot better yeah. as the season goes yeah. on. Would not be surprised if he finished around the one mark when this wow. thing is all said and done. So, very clearly, Juan Soto is top tier, top three players in baseball, in my opinion. I think we can mm -hmm. all agree mm -hmm. on that. 100%. It is going to take a lot to acquire Juan Soto because we just saw the mm -hmm. Washington Nationals. They offered him a $440 million contract over 15 years. That is the most money that anybody has ever been offered in baseball. He's 23. Mm -hmm. He said no. Yeah, that's pretty ballsy. I mean, we all say like, oh, I would totally take that money, but you're also not Juan Soto. Mm -hmm. Juan Soto's agent is actually, I think, is doing the right thing here because right. they know, they know, hey, I get my dude a better situation, a better team, and more. More money. Mm -hmm. More money. So it's the right thing to do. But what does that mean? Well, he's worth a lot. He's worth he's a worth lot. He's worth a lot. Right? And it's going to take a lot of prospects, a lot of players, yeah. and a lot of money even to go out and get this dude. I absolutely agree. So executives have come out and said that they do believe that Juan Soto will get traded in the next two weeks leading up to the trade deadline because he turned that contract down. And if you're Washington Nationals, mm -hmm. it's like, well, what what, what are we going to do? You, you know, have what to if, trade him. Like, what, we just can't. We're not going to extend him. We're not going to win in the next two years. So yeah. it's like he's he's got to go. Right. So, where does that leave the Blue Jays? Well, it means that you better believe Ross Atkins and Mark Shapiro, they are going to be on the phone. What do you think it's going to actually take to acquire Juan Soto onto this team? Mm -hmm. And then after we answer that mm -hmm. question, do we think it's worth it? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's going to be, I mean, it's no surprise. It's going to be quite a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a few things to know. Okay, first of all, I'll just say this. There's got to be a top prospect. Moreno's involved in this deal. Okay. You got Jordan Groshans. You got Aurelvis Martinez. Like, you got probably at least your top three prospects. Maybe you got a pitching prospect. Tiedemann's involved in this too. And it could even take a current major league roster player, someone who's in the starting lineup every day, mm -hmm. someone like a Bo Bichette, a Teoscar Hernandez, a Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Someone is going to be involved. Now, I do want to say one thing mm. that does kind of hinder the Toronto Blue Jays in this situation. Okay, so we're one of the favorites for sure. But according to MLB Trade Rumors, mm. we have the thinnest farm system of the Yankees and the Dodgers. Because we spent the last few years giving up our prospects, giving away our first rounds 
for Matt Chapman, right. for Jose Barrios. We've been doing it. Mm-hmm. Yes, the Dodgers already did it. The Yankees, they're loaded. They are they're loaded, loaded they to are go. Loaded, yeah. So that's going to put us at a disadvantage. We might need to give up some current roster players in order I, to get I one. I do so agree. Now. I do agree. Now, somebody, uh, Caitlin McGrath, she's from The Athletic. They actually made a, a kind of just a breakdown deal, what they think it would take if the Blue Jays were to go out. And there's a few different uh, websites, articles to check out if you want to look at this further. But I kind of agree. She went on to say, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., mm-hmm. Cabin Biggio, yeah. Moreno, Groshans, Martinez, Tiedemann, Pearson. Holy God. That was the, that was the pot- like potential wow. deal to ship them off. Then... Uh, then she talked about, well, okay, maybe instead of some of those guys, we include Bo Bichette, and you can you make a strong argument for that. Yeah. If you were to include Bo Bichette, then you can probably take off, you know, one of Groshans and Martinez. You can probably take off Kevin Biggio. You know, it's like so that would definitely maybe take Lourdes. maybe yeah. you know it's like, that would definitely take away uh, some from the mm-hmm. deal if you if you do trade away Bo, Bo Bichette because he does have the biggest as far as bar goes, right. probably out of everyone because he's done it at a major league level. Right. But the the point of this being is it is going to require pretty a much lot. everything now yeah. I, I read that initially and i was like oh crap that's that is a lot that yeah. is a lot a lot a lot that is a lot but i i then asked the question is any one of the guys that i listed here like will they ever you know do anything that juan soto is going to do no i mean Probably let's not. see like no like but here no no no, no. no. but like we're, we're basically taking like a few guys, obviously two guys are on the current Major League roster in Lourdes and, and Biggio. Yeah. Uh, we're taking two of them and taking all these guys who could potentially one day, maybe like of that list, mm-hmm. two guys come up and, and be service to our team. Yeah. Or maybe three or four go up and one day be service to a Major League team mm-hmm. one day. Mm-hmm. So we're, t- we're basically giving up all that depth for one guy, packaging him into the right field slot, and he's going to be a superstar. Yes. Now, let me ask you, are you willing to do it, and do you think it's going to be the benefit of the Toronto Blue Jays right now? So here's the thing. This deal, the one that I just listed out, I would be willing to do if we absolutely guaranteed that we extended him. Well, that's what it has to be. We ha- There's that's no way that we tr- make this deal, we get Juan Soto for two years, we trade away all of these prospects, mm-hmm. and then we do not get to keep him. If we're acquiring, in my opinion, what's going to be maybe the best player in baseball for the next decade, mm-hmm. I want to make sure that him. he is a Toronto Blue Jay yeah. for that next decade. 100%. Right? If we're going to pay all of this, then you have to take that $450 million from us. Yeah. That's, that's something that needs to be discussed before the deal is done, I think. Yeah, and if he does it, he's going to secure himself as one of the biggest legends in Toronto Blue Jays history. He's going to get his jersey retired. Yeah. He's going to be on the wall, the, the wall of excellence, the yeah. level of excellence. Like this guy's supposed to be elite. So the, it does, you know, it does put a wrench in the current mm. rebuilding plans. But I mean, if you can find ways to improve your team, you improve your teams. Now, does this concern you that we're trading all this prospect capital and not getting any pitching? So are you okay with? Bringing in Juan Soto, that's it means obviously not pitching. that's obviously very questionable, and I think that we do need to address the pitching thing. You know, like that's something that needs to be maybe even be dealt with before we do something like this. Right. You know, it's like deal with that, and then be like, okay, this is what we have left. This is what we're doing with. I personally think if we were to go out and acquire Juan Soto, and I know that there's recency bias in here, and I don't want to say that Bobachet's not going to be a great player or anything. I think mm-hmm. he is going to be a good player. But I would rather include a Boba Shed, take a few of these prospects off, maybe mm-hmm. take off Cavan Biggio, maybe take someone else off here and put that forward, mm-hmm. um, and then and then have that be the thing. So we can hold on to you know maybe one of Aurelius Martinez, we can hold on to Cavan Biggio, we can hold on to a few other guys and not give up the entire depth of our squad. Yeah. And you know because at the end of the day, I do believe like. Juan Soto, Bo Bichette, there is definitely a tier of right. difference there. And then would we use the other guys to ship off for getting pitching? Because we've both said Maybe. for months, like, we need pitching to be a good major yeah, league team. I, I love Juan Soto. Mm-hmm. I love Juan Soto. I think he's going to make our offense remarkable. Yeah. Like, so, like could be the best in baseball after, after this point, depending on who we ship off. But the problem still lies mm-hmm. in the starting pitching. So you really have, in the starting pitching and the bullpen, more specifically the bullpen. Right. So you really have to ask yourself, as Ross Atkins, okay, is it is it worth it in the end of the day mm-hmm. for the success of the Toronto Blue Jays? It's sexy as hell. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. It's going to sell tickets. We're going to get hype. 
but is it the right thing to do for the current team needs? What do and you that, think? And I don't think. Mm. I don't think it's the right thing to do for the current team needs. It, again, it's sexy. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I will be a fan if we get if we get Juan Soto. Yeah. I'm gonna have to be. But I really do think it's a more efficient way to improve the team than just adding more bats. That's that is definitely a good point, you know. And I think that a very strong argument can be made for doing that. And I think that the makeup of this deal would be very important to me. What if there was a way where we acquire Juan Soto and then we do what some have suggested, which is take on that contract of Patrick Corbin, lower the prospects right. a lot. You know, I, we're getting the pitcher back. He's definitely mm -hmm. not going to be great. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's something there. I don't know. But we definitely do not need to give up nearly as many prospects yeah. if we were to take him on. Would that be more appealing to you? I would say so, yeah. just It would be ugly for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. you have three pitchers, Ryu, uh, Kikuchi, and Corbin, who are that basically... Are eating up like $50 million yeah, yeah. plus and are literally doing nothing on our team. It would be ugly for mm -hmm. sure. But, you know, there are ways around it. You could just like pay them out over the course of 15 years and release mm -hmm. them. There's different ways to do it. But it would help save our farm a bit so we can use those bullet, those prospect bullets, and send it off for maybe some bullpen and some other starting pitch. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's multiple ways to go about this for sure. I do want to point out as well, folks, about several months ago, there were some rumors coming up by ESPN from other guys, basically some insiders saying, like, Blue Jays have already inquired about this. So uh -huh. I think that's why we're especially some of the favorites right now because now that it is almost guaranteed that Juan Soto is going to be gone – like, we have to be here. Mm -hmm. One thing that we absolutely cannot have happen, and I would almost just do it just to stop it from happening, is for this guy to go to the New York Yankees. Oh, my gosh. That can't happen. See, that's the perfect landing spot for Juan Soto, in my opinion. Because, look, Judge, he turned down your deal. You right. know, he's going to get a big deal. Well, Juan Soto's going to get a bigger deal. Yeah. But, like, you, if you want to really reset the clock as a New York Yankees franchise, because they are getting older. Mm -hmm. You know, you Yankees fans out there, you, they are getting older. The window is now. But you want to reset it? and also still help the window, get one Soto. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about an incredible yeah. lefty bat that's going to yeah. just absolutely Oh, my match. God, you want to talk about lefty bats yeah, in yeah, the Yankee gonna Stadium. Yeah, it's going to destroy at Yankee Stadium. Oh I think ultimately my final thoughts on this are um, if there is an opportunity to acquire you know, a generational Hall of Famer, I do want to take it, but I want to go about it smartly and, mm. and hope that we can address the team needs at the same time as bringing him in without, you know, being looked like fools and, yeah. and, and trading away everybody. Yeah, you know? and then it's like, well, our team's dead in five years. Yeah. How'd that happen? Yeah, right? yeah. and definitely <laughs> if we do acquire him, get the extension done yeah. immediately. That has to happen, like, yeah. the same day. Yeah, and we can talk about extending Vlad another day because yeah. this, this is more which important. Is, which is kind of part of the reason why yeah. I'm like, well, maybe we trade away Bo, too. Because I'm yeah. like, there's no way. Now, you can't get them Now all. it's like, now we need Juan Soto yeah. and we need Vladdy. And Bo, you're just not going to get yeah. the money. And we have a bunch of, like, oh, maybe they're all gone at this point, but right. a bunch of middle infield prospects coming up. So Yeah, you know. agreed. Guys, let us know in the comments down below what you think about these rumors. Are the Blue Jays going to pull the trigger on this? Or is it going to be the Yankees or the Mets or the Dodgers or the Giants? What do you think? And what are your feelings if the Blue Jays do pull the trigger on Superstar Juan Soto? Absolutely. Guys, please like and subscribe. And also, $3 a month to become a Patreon member. Shout out and thank you to every single one of our patient members. You guys can come on to our Wine and Wines every single Friday. Let us know. Thanks so much for watching. And go, Jays, go! go!